Hello Internet, hello and welcome to this video. Now this is a new format that I want to try. It's just gonna be me talking about any topic that I think is worth talking about. And in the background you're gonna have a tenable version of a game I played. Just, I cut it down to the interesting parts, sped it up at, well, farming parts and, well, you get the point, you can watch it in the background. I don't know if you like this format, please tell me what you think about it. I got this idea from the Call of Duty guys and I, well, just wanted to try it. Something you guys have to know about me is that I'm always 100% honest. Some people consider me rude, other people consider me funny. I'm probably both, but either way I am 100% honest. So the things I'm gonna be talking about in these videos will be my uncut opinion. I'm not gonna hold back, I'm not gonna censor myself, this is gonna be my opinion. If you don't like it, deal with it. The first thing I want to explain is why I don't take requests. Very, very often people write comments that are like, play this hero, do this, play this game, play mid wars, play casual mode, stuff like that, play this mode. The reason why I don't take requests is that I'm not gonna be able to make all of you happy. It's just not a possibility. Once I start taking requests, it's gonna be unfair either way. There's no possible way to make it fair. If I say, well, okay, so you guys leave comments about which hero you want me to play next and the hero that gets the most votes, well, I'm gonna play him. So let's just say a video gets 100 comments and 50 of those say Devourer. That would still mean that 50 other comments are gonna say a different hero. Even though I made 50 people happy, 50% of you, I still manage to not make the other 50% happy. They are gonna feel like I treated them unfairly because I didn't fulfill their request. And yes, you could say that we could always just have a majority vote. But the other side for why I do not take requests is that I prefer playing heroes that I enjoy playing. This is why I do the whole thing with the models. This forces me to play heroes I don't particularly enjoy playing or heroes that I don't think are good or don't play for any other reason. But as long as it's not an alternative model, I am gonna just stick to what I like and what I enjoy. You guys should have realized by now that if I have fun with the hero I'm playing, if I have fun with the game I'm playing, it's a much, much better video. So please, just let me do my thing and stop giving me those suggestions. It's just annoying. The next thing is, Bomi, you don't respect your viewers. Yes, I don't. Because I believe respect is something that you have to earn. You don't just get respect for being a viewer. That is not how I roll. No. You have to be a viewer that's worthwhile. You have to be a viewer that I can actually respect. If all you're gonna do is write first or play this hero, even though I just said no suggestions, then you're just not worthy of respect. You are an idiot. And I do not value you as a viewer. Now don't get me wrong. I do not hate all of my viewers. No, actually I like the majority of you. Honestly, come on people, I play with viewers all the time. And by all the time, I literally mean all the time. I do never, never play horn without viewers. That's just not something I do. I always, always play with viewers. I always do. If you go check out my Facebook page, I communicate with you there all the freaking time. If you got a question you want to ask me, just ask me on my Facebook and I'm gonna reply to you pretty much instantly. If you ever watched any of my streams, it's always the same. I queue up with a group of viewers and while we are queuing, I am talking to the chat and I'm communicating with my viewers and I'm like, hey people, so what's up? Come on, let's have a bit of a fun time. And then we get the game going and once the game is over, I instantly open up the chat again and communicate with the viewers. I like my viewers, but the problem is just that 
as with every other YouTube channel, as it is common on YouTube. The majority of you are silent and that's okay. But the idiots amongst you pop out and they talk and they have a voice and I am trying to silence them. And if you feel insulted by me, but you never say anything or you always write nice comments, then I'm like, dude, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to be rude to you. I wanted to be rude to that other guy. I like to watch a lot of rap battle videos and beneath those videos, if somebody leaves a retarded comment, those guys usually get turned around on really, really quickly and just get trashed by the other commenters. They don't want to put up with that shit and they make fun of that person that just left a ridiculous comment and obviously has no clue about what they are talking about. This may seem mean, but I like that. I think that's really, really, really cool. But right now in our comment section, if somebody leaves a retarded comment, it usually either goes uncommented, it doesn't get any answers whatsoever, or you guys fall for the troll, I suppose, or I answer, and if I answer, I'm gonna be mean, and then you guys turn it on me, and I'm like, why? This guy's an idiot. Why do you defend him? I don't get it. <laughs> if you're gonna act like an idiot, I'm gonna treat you like an idiot. Now one last thing I want to tackle is a comment somebody wrote. Which this is a good comment, don't get me wrong, but I'm still gonna rip you apart. But it's a good comment, I like you, you are a cool guy, you can stay, you are intelligent, I like you. So, Baumi, we are the reason you're increasing in popularity and the reason you always made and continue to make these videos. This is not actually true. The reason why I increase in popularity is because you like my videos. And that's it. I have always been creating those videos just because I like entertaining people. I originally uploaded my videos to an audience of 10 viewers. And I was like, hey people, <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this. And I hope they enjoyed it. I was fine with having 10 viewers and I'm fine with having 10,000 viewers and I'm fine with having 100,000 viewers if we're ever gonna get to that point. I of course want to grow, don't get me wrong. That's amazing, let's get more people in here. But the main reason why I am creating videos is because I enjoy entertaining people. Honestly, it's the one thing I want to do with my life. It really, really is. We are not all assholes. Don't turn into one yourself. First of all, I've always been an asshole. Like, come on, I'm that douchebag. But I think I just explained that I do not believe that all of you are assholes. I could care less if you take suggestions. Yup. I love that you do your own thing. Yup. However, don't call all the nice involved viewers who take ti the time to comment on your videos annoying just because you are sick of reading a few words. Treat us well and we'll do the same. Again, I think I already answered most of this. And I want to treat you well. I really, really want to. And I think I do. Except for those idiots that don't deserve any better. I really don't think I need to change my behavior on those guys because I honestly would prefer it if they would shut the fuck up. I really would prefer that. In the end, it comes down to me preferring quality of viewers over a quantity of viewers. And I would really like to just have a high quality down in the comment section. This does not mean that all I want is like, oh, gee, you're so cool. No, 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 no. That's not what I want. But if somebody asks a question, go answer them. Somebody is like, hey, why would you buy that item on that hero? Well, tell them. I'm pretty sure some of you know. And if you don't, well, get a discussion going. Something along these lines. I would like to see something like that for months. That would be nice. We are already getting there, as I mentioned, because 
Sometimes people ask a question and they usually get a really nice reply, which is cool. I like that. That's nice. Of course, if I want something like that, I'm gonna have to change up my content. But I don't know if you noticed, I already am changing up my content quite a bit and actually, I actually like where I'm going. I think this is good and I think you guys are enjoying it too. It's a lot more comedy in there and I'm gonna bring back the not quite dailies a lot more often now. And yeah, another thing I want to explain really quick is why insulting comments hurt a lot. And that's just because an insult usually got some part of truth to it. If you tell me, OMG, oh, you're so good at this game, OMG, oh, I like you so much, blah, 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 blah. it's just, yeah, that's nice. Thank you, I appreciate that, but it honestly doesn't have an impact on me. Because there's like nothing to hold on there. But if somebody is like, I hate your face, fuck you, I'm like, oh, cool, my face is the problem. Well, thank you for that. And that hurts. Because this is not just some... Um, even... Actually, it is. It is some random bullcrap, right? But there is something to it. There's actually a meaning behind it. And as a result, those comments pop out much more than other comments. So much for that. It wasn't really a funny video, right? And I wouldn't even call it particularly fun, but I hope you at least enjoyed the gameplay in the background. I just felt like it was something I needed to talk about. I don't... I don't want to keep on using these videos for just topics like this. I just want to use them for any topic whatsoever. If I just watched a great movie that I want to talk about, I probably am gonna do this because I prefer it over just my face with a webcam. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed this video and see you tomorrow.